Hello, my name is Stefan Kine. In this video, we will introduce Unigraph's 8K capable UCD400 pattern generator and analyzer and describe how to use the features of UCD400 using UCD console user interface. UCD400 is a DisplayPort version 1.4a compliant video generator and analyzer. It can be used for testing DisplayPort receivers and transmitters. It can transmit and receive video resolutions up to 8K and supports both non-compressed video and with display stream compression DSC. UCD400 is compliant with LTTPR compliant repeaters. UCD400 is an authorized tool for DisplayPort and HDCP compliance tests. VESA has authorized it for performing link layer compliance tests on DisplayPort sync and source devices. DCP LLC has authorized it for performing HDCP compliance tests on DisplayPort receivers, transmitters, and repeater devices. UCD Console is a graphical user interface for all Unigraph UCD family test equipment. UCD Console includes a pattern generator function to source video and audio, a capture function to monitor and store video and audio. The user has access to the status and parameters of the DisplayPort interfaces. With AUX Analyzer, the user can monitor AUX channel communication. All UCD400 functions are available for the user through UCD console dialogues. UCD console is also the platform for running link layer and HDCP compliance tests. The tests will be enabled with separate licenses. UCD console dialogues are organized by operating roles of UCD400. The role is selected from vertical tabs and the functions of the role from horizontal tabs. In this presentation, we will introduce UCD400 two roles. Pattern generator role for testing DisplayPort sync devices like monitors, and analyzer role for testing DisplayPort source devices like PCs or display controllers. DisplayPort repeater devices can be tested by using the pattern generator and analyzer role simultaneously. Let us first concentrate on analyzer role and start from the video tab. Video tab is the preview dialog for captured video. Preview is enabled or disabled from the button on the right. Resolution of the captured video, color mode, and color depth are listed in the bottom row. If color mode is other than RGB, the user can select if content is converted to RGB for preview or if original format is used, preview color mode is selected here. With these three buttons, the user can snap individual frames or store video sequences. Please note that if the captured stream is HDCP encoded, storing video sequences or frames is not possible. In audio tab, the user can preview received audio signal and playback audio in the PC. Please note that UCD console is not decoding compressed audio formats. The upper part shows waveforms of the received audio channels and the lower part of the frequency spectrum of each channel. Up to eight channels can be received. Preview can be enabled and disabled from the button on the right. Audio can be monitored in the PC. Select playback device here. The bottom panel indicates the received audio format. Sequences of the captured audio can be recorded. Start recording with the record button. Analyzer role link tab contains dialogues for monitoring and controlling DisplayPort link. Cable light indicates that the hardware has detected an upstream cable. HBD light indicates that the hot plug detect signal, HBD, is asserted in logical high state. With HPD control buttons, the user can control the status of the signal and give long or short pulses. Link status displays the status of the link training and the link parameters negotiated between UCD400, sync, and the upstream source. The status is updated automatically. 
link configuration allows the user to change the way the sync capabilities are announced in DPCD registers of the UCD400 sync. Other capabilities section includes controls of features like MST, FEC, and DSC. After modification, to write new status to the DPCD registers, click Apply. Stream status panel displays video timing details retrieved from the mainstream attributes MSA of the monitored stream. Frame rate is measured by UCD 400 local sync. Frame CRC displays the 16-bit values calculated with cyclic redundancy check function from the three color components of all pixels in the received video frame. In EDID tab, the user can access the data stored in EDID of the UCD400 sync. The user can read and program the contents of EDID memory of up to four virtual MST ports. In the panel on the left side of the dialog, the user can view and edit EDID data in hex mode. EDID data can be read from a file or stored to a file for later use. EDID content can be edited in a separate EDID editor. In the left panel of EDID editor, the data is viewed in logical tree view. The right panel shows the details of the currently selected item. Data can be retrieved or saved to a file here. In DPCD tab, users can evaluate and change content of UCD400 DP sync DisplayPort Configuration Data Registers There are differences between DPCD versions. The user can select here the version for interpretation. There are two DPCD address range dialogs. Start or address of the range can be set here. DPCD content can be edited in the hex mode dialogs. Parse details of the selected DPCD location is shown in the panel on the right. Register content can be saved in a file. HTCP tab includes controls and statuses for HTCP function. Since source device controls HTCP function, in analyzer role the user can only monitor the status and set the capabilities of UCD400. HDCP tab includes separate panels for HDCP version 1.3 and HDCP version 2.3. It will depend on the source device to select the version used. The status panel shows the status of HDCP handshake between source and sync. In configuration panel, the user can enable or disable HDCP capability declaration of UCD400 sync device. SDP tab shows the secondary data packets received from the source device. Received packets are shown in the hexadecimal format. Please refer to the UCD400 user manual for a list of packets detected. Click update to reread the packets. FEC tab contains control of the forward error correction feature. Error Detection Table and FEC Status Log Enabling FEC feature is controlled by the connected source device. When source and sync device are connected, source verifies if sync is FEC capable. The register in UCD400 sync can be controlled by FEC capable checkbox. Since a source device normally pulls sync registers after a new connection, Selecting Generate HPD on Change will make sure that changes in FEC capability status will be noticed. FEC Enabled Light will indicate that Source has enabled FEC function. Error Counter Panel will list the errors which UCD400 Sync has found in main lane symbols. The changes in FEC status are listed in Status Log on the right. Source DUT Testing tab enables running tests that are included in the UCD400 firmware. 
please note that some tests are enabled by default with UCD400 delivery and some tests are enabled only by applying a specific license key in UCD400 license manager. Please refer to the UCD400 user manual for a list of available tests and the licensing. The test categories available for the UCD400 unit selected for UCD console are presented as separate tabs. Each test category contains individual tests. The user can select tests by clicking on the list. The results panel in the right shows which tests have been run and their results status, passed, failed, or skipped. Once the tests are selected from the list, the user can select how many times they are run, the delay time between tests, and if this test sequence is stopped in case a failure is found. User can follow execution of the test in test log. Each step is described in detail. Test log can also be stored as a report in a HTML file for sharing and for evaluation with any web browser. Full test execution details with custom remarks will be stored in the report. Before running tests, the user must set parameters related to the test. The result of the test might be misleading if the DUT capabilities and the test parameters do not match. This is especially important when running compliance tests. Click Configure to open up a pop-up dialog related to the selected test category. As an example, let us have a look at DUT capabilities dialogs for DisplayPort link layer compliance tests. The capability dialogs are spread on three tabs, and each tab has several parameter groups. It is very important to set all parameters very carefully, since compliance test execution and their pass-fail criteria is based on the selections made in these dialogs. The capabilities selection are described in detail in Chapter 3 of VESA DisplayPort version 1.4a Link Layer Compliance Test Specification. Click here to save the presets into a file. Now we have gone through all functional tabs in Analyzer role of UCD400. Let us change to the Pattern Generator role. First functional tab in Pattern Generator role is Video Pattern Generator. UCD console provides a set of predefined common video timings and video patterns. A list of timings and patterns can be found in UCD 400 user manual. Users can select the timing from a drop down list, set video color mode, and also set color bit depth. Used pattern can be selected either from the list of predefined patterns or user can load a custom bitmap by clicking the image on the right. The predefined timings can be edited in the custom timing dialog. With a separate manage timings tool dialog, the user can create new timings and customize the lists shown in the drop down menu. After selecting proper values for the video signal, Validate them by clicking Apply. In Audio Generator tab, the user can set audio waveforms, audio signal frequency, define the sample rate and bit depth used, and the number of audio channels. Custom audio files can also be used as a source. Start and stop sending audio here. Link tab shows the status and control items for the DisplayPort link. HPD light on the top of the tab indicates the status of the hot plug detect signal. Link status panel shows the result of the link training with the connected downstream sync, selected link parameters, and the status of other connection features. The user can override here output level and pre-emphasis values selected during link training. Click apply overrides to validate changes. In link configuration, user can set target capabilities for the link training. Click link training to apply. In link pattern, the user can select special patterns to be sent over the link. Please note that except active video, these patterns do not carry video and audio. 
They are special bit combinations used for development purposes. When selecting active video, normal audio and video are being transmitted over the link. Frame CRC displays the 16-bit values calculated with cyclic redundancy check function from the three color components of all pixels in the sent video frame. EDID and DPCD tabs are in pattern generator role similar than in analyzer role. Please note that the information is read from the connected sync, not UCD400 source itself. In HTCP tab, the status indication panel of the pattern generator role is similar than an analyzer role. The difference is in control panel. Since transmitter is controlling HDCP function, the checkboxes for enabling HDCP are here. Transmitter can naturally enable HDCP only if receiver declares that it is HDCP capable. In FEC tab, user can control forward error correction feature. Clicking enable and disable FEC buttons will start and stop the function provided that the connected sync device is FEC capable. If prefer FEC enabled is selected and the connected sync supports FEC, UCD400 will start FEC enable sequence after a successful connection. In Error Generator, Generate Errors of Type Selection will set how many errors will be inserted into one FEC block and to which link symbol. Sync Error Counters indicate the number of errors that the connected sync device has detected. The values are read from Sync DPCD. The two debug buttons enable sending either FEC Enable or FEC Disable sequence in main link. Status log shows FEC status changes. The functions in Sync DUT testing tab are similar to source DUT testing in analyzer role. The available tests in tabs depend on the licenses present. Event log is a common feature for pattern generator and analyzer roles of UCD400. Capturing transactions is started here. Based on UCD400 rule, user can define the log data source either from DisplayPort input or output. There are three transaction list tabs. The user can evaluate all logged transactions in Event Log tab. Aux transactions can be evaluated in the two Aux Analyzer tabs. Data source selection is common for all three tabs. Parse details of the item selected in transaction list is shown in the dialog on the right. The log transactions can be saved either as binary data or as HTML reports that can be shared and evaluated with any web browser. Thank you for watching. You will find more information about UCD400 and other Unigraph products at www.unigraph.fi. Please do not hesitate to contact Unigraph if you have any questions.